Hey guys, it's Sarah and welcome back to my channel. Sorry it's been a while again, honestly. <laughs> so, yeah, a lot has happened. This is so risky, I'm doing it with my balcony door open so everybody can hear me do this, but it's too hot. We're currently in a heat wave, honestly. I am not closing that door, the draft is nice. Oh, someone's loading the car up, that's what I could hear. Anyways, <clears throat> so, Today's video, as you can tell by the title, is a bit of a different video because I've been off work because I've had COVID and it's the first time that I've experienced COVID from what I'm aware of and it's definitely something I wouldn't have known that I'd got. Um, so yeah, so I thought I would just kind of tell you a bit about it and give you a little story time as to how I managed to find out that I had it and also the symptoms that I have and had because I still have some of them now even though I'm officially negative as of today filming this video um, and I'm if I'm negative tomorrow morning I can go back to work tomorrow so that's cool um, but yeah so I just thought I would kind of give you a little story time on how I got Covid <laughs> something I didn't think I would end up ever filming because I've avoided it for we're in 2022 it started in 2019 and as far as I'm aware I've avoided it since then so yeah anyways so first things first as you'll find out in another video when I do a life update video I've recently got a new job and yeah and honestly like I would have been there three weeks as of Wednesday so Wednesday before you watch this um but technically I've only been there two weeks because I've been off work for a week with Covid yeah <laughs> um yeah so basically I got a new job yeah anyway I'll explain why I got a new job in another video but I got a new job and we decided that I was gonna have a leaving night out not Saturday just gone the Saturday before no not the right let me do it so that you're watching it in real time um so for you guys not the day before you're watching this not the saturday before that but the saturday before that yeah i went on a leaving night out for leaving screwfix because i used to work at screwfix which i can now say um and yeah went on a night out enjoyed the a car's gonna come past yeah so went on a night out had the best time with all my workmates and yeah everything was good got a little tipsy and went back to my mum and dad's stayed the night there because i used to work in bolton and that's where my mum and well it's not where my mum and dad live they live close so i went to stay at the night theirs because i wasn't going to be driving all the way back here um especially with me drinking alcohol because <laughs> that's not allowed and that's not what i'm about um so yeah everything was great next day on the sunday i woke up with a sore throat just assumed well it was a little bit of a sore throat just assumed that was basically because i was screaming lyrics all night and when i get tipsy i always scream don't ask me why i shout um partly because oh, another car's coming partly because I can't, it's because of the music, the music's too loud. <laughs> so yeah, I, I always come back with a sore throat. That's why I just assumed the sore throat. Maybe they can't hear me, a kid's just walked past and not even said anything. Um, yeah, that's why I just assumed that the sore throat was that. Anyway, the sore throat got worse and I think it was its worst on Tuesday after. Um, I went into work because I was still feeling fine. Um, my manager noticed that my throat was sore, he was like, you dead, we off ill, and I was like, nah, this is me talking about, I'll be in work with no voice and try and do the job, and he was just laughing at me, um, and yeah, basically, I went home that night from work, was tired, and I was tired, and I'm pretty sure I was tired because I was on the night out on the Saturday, and then Tuesdays are my long shift days at work, so I do from half eight till half five, which is my long day that I'll do. Um, yeah, so I was pretty sure I was just tired because, yeah, it all kind of like mixed together. Um, anyway, I went to sleep at about 10-ish, and then I woke up nearly midnight to 
some text messages in a group chat that I'm in of a few of my friends telling me that two of them had tested positive from the night out. I panicked and was like, I bet this is what, this sore throat that I've got is COVID now. Um, so midnight, nearly midnight, I ran and did a COVID test, a lateral flow. I was instantly positive. Like that positive line appeared before it had even reached the line that would show was just a negative. As it was going up, the line appeared. That's how strong the COVID was. Um, I was panicking because obviously I'd only just started my job and I didn't want it to go against me. But my work's been absolutely amazing with it. They told me I weren't allowed to come in, which, great. I mean, I'd love the fact that I have a week off. Well, they said I wasn't allowed to come in for five days minimum. On day four and five, I'd have to test negative to come in. Um, so that was cool, but also it was a bit frustrating because I was feeling fine. I just had a bit of a sore throat and that's something that I can deal with. Um, so yeah, so I was messaging him at nearly midnight and he was just like, don't worry, everything's going to be okay, blah, blah. He'll sort it you know, in the morning. So I was like, right, fair, fair dues. Um, so obviously I rang my mum, told her, and then I woke up earlier next day, told my sister and then I was still messaging people from work and yeah um and then I went back to sleep right so my throat was still absolutely burning when I woke up at like seven o'clock in the morning my throat was still on fire so before I went back to sleep I went and got a paracetamol and a brew and then drank that went back to sleep and then I woke up with no sore throat it like literally just disappeared it was so weird but then, through that day, I ended up full of a cold. Like, my nose was just like a tap running. Every now and again, I had to keep running and grab a tissue. I went through, I think I went through a full box of tissues and a full roll of toilet roll in like a day and a half. It was mad. So, but I was still feeling fine. It was so frustrating because I think I would have rather have felt a little bit ill and spent the whole time in bed or lay on the sofa watching tv but it was so frustrating because i literally had all the energy like i could have gone and done stuff but then obviously that would have meant giving covid to people and i didn't want to do that and it was just it was really frustrating basically that i wasn't allowed in work which i completely understand why because i look i do work quite close with um patients now um and I could have gone and done stuff, but nobody wanted to come and see me. And my sister was in work, so she couldn't do anything for the day. Yeah, nobody wanted to catch it off me. So <laughs> it was very frustrating. Um, and then this cold lasted for a few days. It's, I still kind of got it now, but it's not. It's nowhere near as bad as what it was. Um, and then, yeah, I think, it, yeah. That was basically my symptoms. I found, I did find out two days ago, though. I think it was about two, maybe a bit longer. I sprayed my favourite perfume and I couldn't smell it. And, yeah. Oh, I've kicked the camera. Yeah, I, I sprayed my favourite perfume and I couldn't smell it. And that was sad times because that's my favourite smell. It's like my favourite scent. I still don't have the smell now. Sad times. And I went on a walk with my sister. Social distance one. And... There's barbecues lit and I couldn't even smell the food and my sister was like, it smells so nice. Sad times. But yeah. Anyway, yesterday. So. Sunday. The Sunday before you're watching this. I tested. Well, I thought I tested negative and I was dead excited and I started texting everybody going, I'm negative, I'm negative. Because the day before I had quite a fake line. I feel positive. And then... But I hadn't waited long enough. <clears throat> I hadn't waited that 15 minutes it tells you to wait. And because I hadn't waited that 15 minutes it tells you to wait, I actually had a really, 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 when I say really faint line, it was the faintest line ever. Like, I'll insert a picture here actually. Um, it was so faint. And yeah, I was so gutted because I was like, no. 
Um, but today I've woke up, took a test and I'm actually negative. I actually waited the right amount of time and everything and I'm negative. So hopefully if I test negative tomorrow morning, I can go into work tomorrow. So that's really good because I've been so bored. Um, and I was just getting used to the new job as well, which is like, yeah. But yeah, I just kind of wanted to like film this because it's the first time I've ever known that I've had COVID. And also to kind of raise awareness that even like just normal cold symptoms can be COVID because yeah, I I probably wouldn't have even tested if it wasn't for two people that night to tell me that they both tested positive and then another one tested positive recently as well. So four of us from that night out have all got COVID. So yeah, we'll say got COVID, I'm negative now. Um, but yeah, so even if you think it's a cold it still could be covid it's honestly frustrating but it's fine i'm negative a car's coming past and she just looked in at me um yeah i'm negative now and i was completely fine but yeah sorry i thought i kicked my water over love to know why she's going through the back entrance anyways i just wanted to make this video for one for memories because of the whole situation and number two because i honestly thought this was just a normal cold <laughs> in fact i think my normal cold that i would get at winter every single winter i think i was actually worse with that than i was with this but I am triple vaccinated, so that could be also why. Um, but yeah, so this is just kind of like awareness as well, because I wouldn't have thought this was COVID. And I probably wouldn't have tested, like I said, if it wasn't for these guys texting me to tell me that they were positive. Luckily, they're all cool. They're all fine. Um, they're still positive at the moment. I must have just not had like a strong case of it. Um... But on the bright side, this has come at a good time because I go to Germany in September. I go to Liverpool at the end of the month and I'm going to be have some kind of immunity for it. So I shouldn't really come back with COVID. Shouldn't. I'm saying shouldn't because I don't know how true this is, but it should have some form of immunity for it. So that's always good. But yeah, so I thought i hope this kind of like interests you guys on the whole situation and i hope that you guys if you do get covid um it's not as it's not bad because i know that covid can be bad um which is why i didn't think this was covid until obviously i tested um but yeah i literally have all my covid tests lined up over there because <laughs> i wanted to compare it in case it was like wait for the cars go past I wanted to compare it in case the lines were like I've heard that you can have faint lines but I didn't realise they were going to be as faint as you were and I thought they were going to be like little by little go fainter and fainter so I wanted to like compare it but it was a massive jump from like one that I thought was fainter to the faint one that I basically thought was negative and then it wasn't it was literally the faintest line like you would have seen when I've inserted the picture um but yeah so i kind of wanted this to be like an awareness video to say that anything can be covid pretty much um and also hope you guys are okay if you do have covid or you did have covid um and yeah like covid's real but and everybody can experience it differently um but yeah so I hope you kind of like this kind of video it's kind of like a little story time and how i got covid and like my symptoms and stuff and yeah i'm just gutted that my sense of smell is completely gone and as you can probably tell i don't know if you can tell anymore that i have a cold from talking like i can hear it inside of me from talking but yeah i don't know if you guys can this is a good time to stop because my camera battery is flashing um <laughs> but yeah so thank you guys so much for watching um if you have had covid please share like your symptoms and stories down below in the comments because it might help other people like detect covid if that makes sense um as mine was literally cold symptoms 
it's crazy um also make sure you head in, head over to my vlogging channel because i've got a few vlogs that are going to be coming up in the next couple of months um because like i say i'm going to liverpool at the end of this month and i've got germany in september and they're going to be so good so many good vlogs coming um but yeah thank you so much for watching and i will see you next week with another video subscribe if you're new and hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed this video thanks for watching bye